What it takes to cowboy? I'm professional cowboy Johnny Boozer. These are my stories. This is my life. Doctor in Yearlands in the Teton Range of Wyoming. To beat in the heat in Central California with some of the world's best vaqueros. And really, my best compadres. Gathering, processing, and shipping nearly 15,000 head of cattle in three and a half months. Searching and exploring the back country of the Uinta Mountains for 1,700 head of cattle while raising a little buckaroo. I And all of this for the chance to feel free. As you can see, we've got work to do. Why don't you come along for a real American adventure? This is what it takes to cowboy. When you're around 3,000 head of yearling steers, it seems to be never-ending care. But when you're surrounded by 4,000 foot of vertical in the Teton Range of Wyoming, time seems to just slip away. From May until October, we doctor everything in the pasture, averaging a little over 400 doctrines a season. From foot rot, pneumonia, or any situation we find ourselves into. With each treatment requires precise diagnosis and an accurate amount of medicine. Each treatment is recorded for future references. I'm not even going to mention the dangers of handling a 700 pound steer along with a 1500 pound horse. This is job. In the early months of the summer, the Yerudia Ranch is racing to gather, process, and ship their cattle to higher country in Nevada. Here's cow boss Harry Pike, sorting the cattle for transport. Harry leads the five of us to gather more than 15,000 head of cattle in the three and a half month season. I took a little time to interview the hands. What do you like most about being a cowboy? Get the cow. ¿Qué que me gusta más? Las al vaca, a mí me gusta la asada. Yo soy rostro Que la cabeza así ya viene hasta humo nomás. La que está quemando. En la gente con las pesas, Aaron, en el. El engordito de arroz, en el gordito de arroz. Que la vecina le metió el dedo. Que la vecina se metió el dedo. Harry uses well-bred cutting horses to sort the calves from the cows to help us with easier loading and processing when they reach the main headquarters. In all, we gathered over 22 different ranches, all within a 100-mile radius of the main headquarters in California.
My boy Bert was just getting old enough to hang on. I really had no idea that I was preparing him for his next cowboy season. Hello, I'm Johnny Boozer with cameraman Burke Boozer. We'd like to invite you to hang out with uh, the Boozer boys as we're uh, cowboying in the Uintas. Burke and I, we uh, take care of 850 pairs. We're in the Wasatch National Forest and it is coming close to the end of the season uh, and we'd like to invite you along for our last little bit of cowboying along. Burke's doing an excellent job with cameraman. Come here, Burke. Come here. Sit down. So Burke and I, we uh, we average what? Eight, eight to ten hours in the saddle. The rest of the time, we'll monkey around a little bit, but uh, we end up here all day. Then anyway, Roscoe was that way at one time as a four-year-old, and now he's nine, and watch him jump this. Wow. Perfect skills, Roscoe. Oh, look at, see? We got struggled. We got it over and out. We're gonna have to trot him. On board camera, trotting. <laughs> <laughs> Roscoe's got a nice, fast trot for Burke and I. We, <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep him in a lope all day. So basically they dove in here to pair up with our, that one pair that we lost. And I don't know where they went. If I got in front of them, behind them, whatnot, but they're in here. Um, you'll see, I'll come out with three pairs yet. Whoa! Whoa, going fast, huh, Bart? I go. I go. Wow. Whoa, Roscoe. Whoa, what happened? Whoa, Roscoe. Oh, whoa, Roscoe. Oh, we got, we've, we missed some right there. Right there. Skid him, Pooh. Skid him, Pooh. Oh, skid him up. <laughs> Pooh's gonna go around. Ah, get him up, Pooh! Skid him up. There he goes. Skid him, Pooh! Skid him up. Burke and I are really working hard today. We got lots of cows. Can you see some way, way, way up there? That just kind of gives you an idea how long our trail is. We got even more way up above that. Um, some cows move faster than others. Basically, we just sit behind and, uh, and beat on the ones that don't like to move. Thanks for watching the preview of what it takes to cowboy. Watch for this 45 minute documentary to come out in 2009. If you'd like to know more about the documentary, please visit extremeguides.net. We'll see you next summer 